Uh, so a weekend event is usually Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, you show up on Friday. There's usually some Friday battles. You'll show up on Thursday night after work. Um, so you go there, you check in. There's something called Troll, which is where you pay the event fee. Uh, and you get a campsite. So that's where you pay tent. your tolls. You pay your tolls at the Troll. We don't get no tolls. We don't eat no rolls. We don't eat no rolls. I made that up myself. So you check in. Um, usually they give out team colors. Like if you're on the blue team or the green team, if there's, if there's any kind of team oriented things, it could be like a headband or an armband or whatever. Um, and so Friday, there's usually fighting. You go on the field. Maybe it's just side on side battles where you just fight each other. Um, and there could be uh, resurrections or not. So resurrections are where you fight, you die, you go to a spawn point, you respawn and you just keep fighting. Um, there's also, um, there's, there's resurrection battles, there's scenario battles where you control a scenario point. Um, one, of the, uh, one of the better battles we fought in the last few years is we, um, we played Eye of the Storm, where the battlefield was set out like Eye of the Storm, the World of Warcraft battleground, mm -hmm. and we fought over it. There was a flag in the middle that you'd had to fight over this, this very small bridge, and if you fell off the bridge into these areas, you'd die, because that's the, the void. Right. So you'd, you'd fight over the bridge, you'd take the flag, you'd run it back to your, your base and you score a point. And uh, we have referees called heralds that would keep track of the points and, and who's doing what, who's captured what zone, and they have timers and everything. So it can go anywhere from just fighting each other on a field, a uh, playing field, to very intense scenario battles. Um, oh, so weapons check happens uh, every morning. Uh, usually in the longer events, you get weapons checked every other day. Because they're usually good for about a uh, day and a half or so. Um, I can tell you, show you how weapons check goes. So here's how weapons check goes. You get the sword, so you're the checker, right? And I stand here like this, and you hit me as hard as you can in the back. Like this? Like you this? You always yeah. yell at him. So you hit me. Like you this. Vent this rage. Uh, no, no, no. Like cross the shoulder the blades. Cross the shoulder blades. Cross the yeah. shoulder blades. Yeah. Yeah. You there want to hit go. me as hard as you can. And that's why I hold like my hand here. Like 20 lashes. Oh, 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 oh. Right. I hold my hand here so that you don't hit me in the neck and my kidneys. All right, that's good. And now flip it around, because it's two-sided. And me again. <laughs> Who gets volunteered for this? This doesn't seem like Everyone. A, this doesn't seem like a good job. No, you have to, you have to check your own weapons. No, oh, you don't. You so, don't. right, every weapon you bring has to be hit on you. No, it doesn't. Oh, because, really? Okay. So you have to hit other people so that you don't pass your own failing weapons. That's okay. the big deal. Gotcha. Right? I thought it was you don't get hit by anything you don't want to get hit by. Right. Best thing is that, yeah, other people pass your weapons, and it's, it's, uh, it's, good to be a member of the community and volunteer for weapons check to get hit. The more people that are volunteered, you don't get hit with that many weapons. Gotcha. And it also, if you get hit with a ton of weapons, you're like, maybe I don't want to bring 30 weapons to an event. Maybe I want to bring four, because each one of those weapons has somebody that's getting hit by it. Right. And uh, yeah, that was pretty good. So, uh, hit me again. I want to get like a running start on this. <laughs> I'll be nice and just hit Jeff as hard as I can. Yeah, it's safe. So, uh, the idea is that uh, with weapon safety, you hit them as hard as you can. You usually get a, the, the biggest guy you can find and you just wail on somebody just a, a handful of times. And usually you start at light, so you hit them lightly, you hit him with a medium swing, and you hit him with as hard as you can. So, if it fails on a medium, you're like, ah, that's a little hard for like a regular strike. We should fail that. Um, and so you kind of step it up so that they know that it's going to be safe. And um, yeah, and the, uh, the way this foam is, it compresses, it's super safe. Um, it's going to hurt about kind of the sting of paintball. Like if you're hit with a paintball, like decently close, like boom, like ah, there's... But the, uh, so the goal of the game is to not break any bones, not leave bruises or welts. And so, you know, like there's a little sting back here, but it's not bad at all. And you hit me as hard as you can. because I cut my own arm off. I was getting wild and I cut my own hand off. <laughs>
I'm actually playing it up. You hit, me, you hit me there, but I'm, I didn't get hurt, so I'm fine. All right, I'm sorry. Man. I, I just thought oh. it'd be really funny, that's all. Oh. Jeff, what was that about safety first? <laughs> it's good to know that if you do rack me in the balls, all you'll do is laugh. That's good to know. Remember, kids, <laughs> safety, that's playability, realism. <laughs> Wear a cup at all times. Thanks for watching. If you like us, subscribe.